When I was eight years old, I got my first pair of Vans. They were these blue slip-on sneakers. I remember thinking how cool I was gonna look wearing these when I went back to school. I think a lot of people probably thought I didn't know how to tie my shoes, which I didn't. <laughs> when I was 10 years old, I started teaching myself how to skateboard. I know I'm getting sidetracked, but it'll make sense very soon. I wasn't really good at skateboarding. I could do an ollie, but even then I wasn't good at that. I mostly just stuck to cruising around. Yeah, and this thing is fast. Oh, For a while, I was exploring different skate shoe companies, and eventually I started wearing Vans again. I've worn different variations of Vans over the years, but one that I've personally worn and sticks out to me is the half cabs. What are the half cabs? You're gonna find out on this episode of Pointless History. Let's go back to the beginning of Vans. So there's this guy named Paul Van Doren, and in 1966, he decided to create the Van Doren Rubber Company, eventually shortened to Vans. It started off as a boat shoe company, eventually changed into a skateboard shoe company. This was because of the early skateboarders and surfers wearing these shoes in the late 60s and the early 70s. Today, Vans is a shoe and apparel company with many styles of shoes. There's the old schools, the skate highs, the authentics, and eras, which are the most well-known shoes of the company. But there are some special signature shoes that Vans have put out over the years, and the most famous being the half caps. How were these shoes created? Well, let's talk about Steve Caballero. Born in 1964, Steve Caballero is a professional skateboarder, motorcyclist, and musician. He began skateboarding at age 12 and became a professional at age 14. In 1989, Caballero and Vance were working on a signature shoe, based on the Puma Prowlers and the Air Jordan sneakers. What came of that was the Caballero. The Caballero, known today as the Full Cab, is Steve Caballero's first signature shoe by Vans, which is also the first pro model skate shoes. They were high top skate shoes that became popular in the 90s. Skaters who wore these shoes would tend to modify them, as well as Steve Caballero himself. Because they were high tops, skaters would have a hard time performing complex tricks. They would cut half the top of the shoe, making them have a mid-top look. Eventually, Steve Caballero took notice of this trend and brought it up to Vans. They worked again to redesign the shoe, and they created the Half Cab. The half cabs were introduced in 1992, based on the modification trend of the full cabs, and also named after the skateboard trick. On the sides facing out and on the tongue is the logo which has a silhouette of Caballero doing the trick itself, with text that says half cab. They're basically the Air Jordans of skate shoes. Over the years since the half cabs were introduced, they had redesigns, as well as to the main van sneakers. They had a very big and bulky look to them. I'm not exactly sure why they were like this. I assume it's because of the shoes getting destroyed by the grip tape. To this day, Vans still sells the half cabs with many different color variations. However, they don't really promote them as much as they used to. I remember going on the website and looking at the different styles and the half cabs were listed for a while. Then all of a sudden they just took them off the list. Now at first I thought they discontinued them, which quite frankly it actually freaked me out a little bit. Fortunately, they still make them. You just have to use the search bar on the website to find them. But even then, it should be listed on the styles list. If you're interested in a good pair of skate shoes or just want sneakers for a good style, definitely check out the half cabs. They're awesome. Oh, and just one more thing, more of a request. Vans, please, for the love of God, please promote these shoes more. They're the Air Jordans of skate shoes and you're neglecting them.